Hello, I'm Gabriel Beavers, bassoonist with the Palm Beach Symphony. Today I'm going to give you a couple of quick tips on how you can use the wire shape on your reeds to adjust them for better comfort when you're playing. Wire adjustments on reeds are very important because they can be undone. Unlike scraping, which is a permanent solution, wires can be adjusted each time you play. One of the most important things to remember about wire adjustments on reeds is you never want to tighten the wires on a reed that is completely dry. You want to first soak the reed for a couple of minutes. Here in Florida, it only takes about two minutes to soak a reed that's not too old because it's so humid here. Our reeds stay pretty supple as opposed to in the northeastern United States in the winter with all the indoor heat. Once I've soaked my reed for a couple of minutes, I'm going to first pull the braids of the different wires out and check to see if they are loose. This reed has a slightly loose first wire. Now the reason I need to make sure the, wi the wires are tight is that if the wires are too loose, then the actions I impart on the wires won't transmit into the blades. Let me label the parts of the reed for you. Here is the blade. That's the part we put in our mouth and that vibrates. Back behind the blade, this whole part here is called the tube. The wire just behind the blade is the first wire and the, wire, the second wire is right here. When the braids are folded out and I tug on them, they should not move. What we don't want though, is we want, do not want to tighten the wires so tight that they cinch the bark underneath. They just want to give the reed a nice hug. So now I'm going to fold the wires down and you see I've set up my tuner there. Let's check where this reed is on a low F. That's a particularly telling note for me. It's not too bad, but let me try the next note down. And you hear that little hesitation I had in response? The reed doesn't really want to vibrate. And rather than scrape, there's something I can do. The reed is very round in the second wire. That results in quite the arch in the blade. If I put my mandrel into the reed and I squeeze at the second wire top to bottom, enough to make a noticeable change in the wire shape, it will pop the tip of the reed open and you have to decide how how much you want there. I like about a millimeter to a millimeter and a half for the uh, inside edge of one blade to the next. So I can tell from years of playing this is a little too open for me. Now let's see what squeezing top to bottom did. Hmm, not enough. The reed is still quite resistant and I didn't go far enough. So I'm going to actually, I have a special mandrel here that's the ideal shape that I like for the inside of the tube of my reed. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that second wire all the way to the mandrel. And I know that my uh, mandrel does go into the reed all the way up to the second wire. Now I'm going to adjust the first wire to get the tip shape I want. feels a lot better. It's by no means perfect, but that's a quick adjustment you can do to a stiff reed. Now, you may have a reed that's actually quite the opposite, that's too free. A reed that is kind of wild and flat. I've set one up that way. It just kind of it's hard to focus the sound. In that case, you can once again check the wires to see if they're tight. In this read they are. And you can go squeeze side to side on the second wire. 
with your pliers that will round the second wire and close the tip. In this case, I didn't go so far that I'm concerned about the tip being too closed, so I think I'll give it a try and see if it made the low register more focused and easy to play. <laughs> It did, but you see it made a little sharp, so I went too far. As I said at the start of the video, that's okay. If you go too far with wires, you can undo it. So I'm going to go top to bottom on the second wire slightly, just enough till I see it give. It did result in a tip opening that's a little too big for my comfort. So I'm going to go top to bottom on the first wire. Again, not perfect, but better than where we started. If you get a store-bought reed and you make sure the wires are firm, you can use these same techniques to get the reed started for you before you ever scrape. The reason it works so well is because of the arch in the blades. If you imagine the second wire is relatively oval shaped rather than round, the result in the blade is that the blade is quite flat. As a result, the blade does not have a lot of strength in it on the front of the reed. Now, if I round the second wire, suddenly there's a lot more rigidity in the blade of the reed, and that resists vibration and raises the pitch. I hope this is helpful to you, and I look forward to playing again for you soon in a concert hall in West Palm Beach.